Does it go on? Hello? Hello. Hey, Jeffy, Jeffy. It's half five. Jeffa, Jeffa, like Jeffa. First time I went live with like multiple people, it looks weird. Wait, wh where are you at? <laughs> United States. Yo, Shawty, where in the United States you coming from, girl? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. All right, cool. What do you want to bring? To, what do you want to bring? What um, what am I supposed to comment on? What are we talking about? The page balance thing. Oh, I know that was just that was something else. But seeing as how you're here. You have nice, you have nice teeth. You both, you and Romeo, have nice teeth at the bottom. What's oh, going on here? You. I don't think I'm looking at a teeth, bro. <laughs> Why you have to? Okay, so, okay, so this is the Mandem's voice, and um, and Romeo the plug is my boy, and basically we we do lots of content over here in the UK. If you haven't done already, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna ask you to hold on one second. Da, 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 da. Um, you watch Pearl. No. Mm -hmm. You don't watch Pearly Things? No, what is that? Oh. Hey, your boy was just on a podcast, rolling with a plug, he, just, he didn't tell you to come off a podcast just now? No, yes, he told course. me to come up, I didn't know anything about this. I didn't even know what a mandem was until 30 minutes ago. Oh, the mandem is, it, 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 is what you guys the call it. The actual word oh. mandem, I didn't know what that meant. Oh, what does it mean? It means a man, right? Oh, well, m more than one man, the mandem. <laughs> The man's them, you know? The man's them. That's yeah, what I didn't means. know that, though. That was the first time I ever heard that. Wow. Okay. Where, where have you been? Have you ever been to the UK? I've never been to the UK. Are you in a relationship wow. probably now? Am I in a relationship? I'm in a yeah. relationship. Why, have, you single. have you got any kids? No children. Okay. May I ask how old you are, please? <laughs> um, I actually turned 29 at midnight. Ooh, what today? Well, what no. time is it there? Huh? Oh, shit. What time is it there? It's actually your birthday over here. No, oh, it's my birthday it's over there? Birthday. Hey. Oh, no, no, no. I still have... It's 9.20 at night here. So it's not my birthday yet here. Happy oh, birthday thank you, to you. I, 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 you know what? We have a singer in here, and he's going to sing your live happy birthday message to you. Go he's ahead, gonna sing your live Come on. Come on. Huh? I'm, 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 I'm going to sing you happy birthday. Are you yeah. going to sing in your American accent? Huh? Ah, God. God, he's gonna do it. <laughs> God, you're taking a mick. <laughs> hey. hey, listen. Oh, wait, let me charge this shit too. This always gets lit right, right near around the end, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying, I'm trying to try not to shit. Hey, listen, subscribe, subscribe to my channel, please. That's my I'm channel, gonna, YouTube. Can I do it while I'm on the phone? Oh, uh, your YouTube. I'm actually, you know what? I haven't made a, I made a YouTube. I'm going to start doing content this week. Yeah, cool. So basically, if you're going to do YouTube, I'm going to be doing content. You can check out what we're doing. They can drop our content. Make sure you follow my name is China. This page, like, this is what we're doing right now because we do lots of YouTube. And what is her and, page? And what is her page? What is your page? The other, the camera on here. Marta, the oh. one that, oh, 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 oh he, she wants to follow Marta. Oh, oh, you're so oh. cute. I'm not a podcaster though. Uh, you're not on podcast. Yeah, you no. you have Instagram though, right? That's how we're talking on Instagram, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, right, then I'll, I'll follow you on here. I want my oh. uh, login. <clears throat> okay, this is this is good. See, look, this is this is this is healthy. This is healthy. I uh, look. See, <laughs> you got people on here. Follow, look, watching from the US now too. I see from my page. Okay. That's that's good. So what do you... Wait, I didn't even get your name. So what's your name? Marie. Marie. Okay, so what do you do in Pens... What do you do in Pennsylvania? 29, what do oh you do? Oh, my gosh. In Pennsylvania. So full-time, I'm an independent contractor for a healthcare facility. And then yeah. I have a beauty bar boutique. Okay. So I have a hair salon and then a clothing store all in one. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So why are you single? What's wrong? Why am what's I single? Because I'm crazy. At least you're honest. At least... <laughs> <laughs> At least you were honest, because um, yeah, yeah, like yeah, she yeah, crazy man. man, she crazy, crazy. So and at twenty nine, most men are munches. Oh, 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 that nigga munch. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Um, how long have you been crazy for? Um, I think I, it started like before me. I think it's like a generational thing. So you've been crazy all your life. Mm -hmm. At what point do you think being crazy 
at what point do you think it's probably start to time to stop being so crazy? But you know what? I don't think I feel like my crazy is not like it's something to be stopped. I think it's just something for somebody to know how to handle. Because I'm not you're like crazy, crazy. like I'm gonna go you're under your car home. or anything like that. I just feel like I have. I are you a what? Crazy. Are you a wild animal? Do you need to be? Why well, should be handle you? I just no feel I like I haven't. You. I haven't met a man to tame me. That's what it is. But you're not a wild animal. You should be a woman. So we shouldn't have. I'm to not tame a wild you. animal though. I know. Be... I just feel like I just feel like I have. I feel like I'm a very alpha female, and it's not, hard. Not to just... it's... So there's not just things that alpha to female. Submit to a man that's not alpha, and I feel like I have not dated an alpha man. Okay, so the problem here, what you what you're exhibiting is is masculine quality. So when you say an yeah. alpha female there's not just things so what you need to be as a woman is you need to be feminine you need to be in your femininity and if you're approaching men or if the men that approach you are not alpha masculine then don't entertain it but yeah, you don't that's what I'm learning so, to do. yeah so what you need to do is you shouldn't entertain any man that you consider not to be alpha or anything to the point where you need to start exuding some type of uh, masculinity upon this so i think a lot of the times women particularly women that they come on here you know you know they made well they're pretty what have you not but they get to 29 i can say the reason is not because you haven't had countless men that have approached you maybe it's the wrong types of men but then you would argue why am i attracting the wrong types of men continuously what am i what what is it about myself what is it what do i put out where do i place myself that i only encounter these men who i don't consider to be alpha or whatever it is that you think that your man should be i agree and i think at 29 it, it's time to you to start thinking seriously about 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 the types of men that you enter your space the types of men you entertain and really this whole thing about i i need the right man to submit to so what i would say is imagine this right imagine you met a man and he said to you you know I'll be masculine. For the, I'll be masculine for the right woman. I'm just, I'm just in my feminine right now. But when I meet the right woman, I'll be masculine. You look at this nigga like, what? What did you say? So essentially, you're saying to me, oh, you know, I'm just being masculine. But when I meet the right man, I would then go into my feminine. No, you should be feminine already because when you encounter these men, we will see it. And you don't. And and these, this is, I think, a lot of women put up a due to, I don't know, they put up a, a barrier around themselves. Mm. and this doesn't help you long term mm. and this is what i'm saying to you from someone that's just coming into it and a lot of the women that we speak to they say similar stuff and i want to know what it what it is about women that continuously keep going for the same guys and get the same outcome and then have to become so strong to do this so i'm just saying to you that maybe it is we should you know maybe but look a know, little I bit was, i was watching a video right on tiktok i was probably like maybe like two weeks ago and it was talking about women and how um, a lot of women come off as being very masculine, like nowadays, as you were saying. And yeah. uh, a point that she made that I took into consideration, because I've been through a lot, but she was saying on there that basically a lot of women are so, have this such tough masculine ways about them because that's their way of their, you know, protecting themselves. Like if I'm tough, then when you get mad, you're not going to hit me. When I'm tough, then when you get mad, you're not going to do certain things. And it comes stems from trauma. And I agree with that. Um, I'm not saying this makes it okay, but I'm saying I do agree that a lot of women are masculine, are more defensive because they've been through things when you're more softer. Yeah, no, I, 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 I fully agree. I just think it's the same thing about trauma. And it always comes down to what, like, as men, I keep hearing the same things. It doesn't matter where, where in the world you are, it's the same things. It's trauma, trauma, relationships. But then when we get down to it, you know, from your 18 to your 28, what types of guys did you date? What type, what types of men, you, you know, were like, you know, who did you give the opportunities to? I'm sure there's been some good men that came into your life. They kind of all been, you know, wrong ones or whatever, or bad choices or, or not alpha men. I think <clears throat> actual, we've met a lot of alpha men, but I, I, or men that would have, you would have considered to, but they're not going to deal with you because being alpha, so, what do I do with a woman that won't fall in the femininity? What do I do? What do you do? Dash her out. <laughs> no, you, you leave. Because yeah. I have no power. When What do I do with a woman like you, for example, that says to me, I'm an alpha woman, we have a discussion, an argument, and then you just won't listen and you keep rearing up and da-da-da-da-da. What can I do? What power do I have? 
You have no power. You just walk. Not whatsoever. But what is the, what I, if it's the opposite? If you go through that and then they still don't leave, though. No, I'm saying they're crazy. I can, leave. I can leave. You can't see. What do you mean you can't leave? I leave. What What can you do? You yeah, can't no, I'm stop. saying that I've had situations. Even I, for instance, like I have. I feel like I have guys that are a lot nicer that have tried to approach me, and I don't. I don't want really, like, entertain, but they don't why go not? away. So why don't you go back and pick up one of these guys now and 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 get out of this game? Because I'm not, I'm not. I I don't know. I'm just really at this point in my life. I'm just not really interested in dating. But I'm saying that I have oh. men that are a lot like different. You're about to be. Life. You're about to be thirty. How can you not be interested in dating? I'm not interested you're... in dating. I'm. I have so much going on right now. I don't even have time to text anybody back. No, I'm saying that you're sense. not supposed to date. date. Okay, so so you've dated your whole like. What? When did you start dating? What age did you start dating? What age did I start dating? Yeah. Um, fifteen. Well, like like high school dating. Like sixteen. Okay, so how many years is that? From me to right now, thirteen. Yeah, it's thirteen years, right? And out in thirteen years, now you're now you're saying that okay, I haven't got time for dating. But when would you have time for dating? Because you had thirteen years to get it right, and if you couldn't get it right in thirteen years, do you think with the as you get thirty, do you think it's gonna just happen automatically? I, but I'm I'm to the point that I I if it doesn't happen, I don't really care. But why won't because it happen? Because I I feel like I, right now I'm on, and it's so weird, but I feel like I'm in this deep relationship with myself. No, but that's crazy. I I know, but that's for me though. I'm so, I'm in such a deep relationship with myself that I feel no, like relationships crazy. are a job no, though. No, no, no. It's you it's not, not a relationship. Job. You no, have no. to tend to people. No, you're no, but life is about okay. You're going to be a job. Your job, right? You're going to be someone else's job, right? Life is not about you, 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 me, me, me. That's selfish, yeah? Maybe when you're younger, but as you start getting older, you start understanding life is about other people as well. It's not just about me, and it's not just about you. It's about the people we feel, it's a, it's about the people we feel our li lives with and, and the interactions that we have. There is no reason why a woman should be saying, I'm in a relationship with myself, unless you are a problematic person who cannot get on with other people. Because human nature, we are not supposed to be alone. You are not That's supposed, true. at 29, supposed to be telling me that, I'm in a relationship with myself. No, that's not healthy. What you're supposed to be doing is be with someone who you can trust in his leadership and you guys can build together and, and you go on. If it's marriage you want to do, if it's whatever it is, but you guys can have the type of relationship that you guys want to have on family. I don't think it's healthy when women say stuff like that because it lets me know that you're giving up. And how the hell can you give up at 29 or think that just yeah, due to make... Some but of how, how can you be in a relationship with someone if you're not the best version of yourself? And how am I going to be the best version of myself if I'm tending to somebody else? But what what is it about you that you need to be by yourself to fix? What is it? Like, of course that, you should that, do that's that. That's what I'm figuring out. How long is it going to take you to figure this out? Well, I've, only been, I've only been single for um about a year. I've been in long-term relationships. Girl, 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 that's way too long. You should have figured it out. Well, <laughs> What you, been, what you I've doing? Been long, I've been in long-term relationships, so I feel like I don't know. Like it's not nothing. I could literally jump right now, make a phone call. No, I don't want you to jump. I no, I don't. Want, no, no, I, we don't want you to jump into relationships. That's yeah, what, that's, that's what, what I'm saying. saying. But what we don't want you to do is to come with that defeatist attitude of, "Oh, this has happened, and that's not what we want." So, and at some point, I want you to understand that it's part of your behavior and the stuff that you leave with that is leaving you like this. So, unless you start looking at the stuff that stops me from getting on with certain men or whatever, or makes me have an attitude or whatever it is that you consider to be the thing that is, it, it's causing friction, then you need to look at it. But I, I just think it's, it's not you only, it's not, you're not the only one that has this conversation with me, but I don't think it's healthy when women start saying or feeling as if that it's over when it's not, when you just have to change your behavior and also change the types of men you go for ultimately. Because there's going to be men out there that would love to have you, that would never cheat on you, that would cherish you, and that would be honoured to have you as a woman. But you do not pick them. You do not see them. And as long as you keep picking the top 20% of men that have access to multiple women, the guys that can break your heart because they are other women that want them to, the Chads and the Tyrones, as we, as, as we call it, as long as you keep going after those guys and you keep 